Hello, and welcome to BMC Training Labs, the comprehensive resource for BMC products and technologies. This lab is focused on the disassembly and reassembly of the Time Machine 01's V Cockpit and Brake Booster. This lab is particularly relevant for Time Machine owners who need to pack the bike for air travel to and from events, or those of you who just want to get a better look at what's going on inside the Time Machine's little black box. Despite being completely integrated, the V Cockpit is actually relatively simple to work on. In the next few minutes, we'll take you through the step-by-step -step process of first disassembling the system and then putting it all back together. For this process, you'll need a standard set of Allen keys, a T30 Torx key, and about 15 to 30 minutes depending on your comfort level as a mechanic. Let's dive right in. We find it easiest to perform this service by first removing both the front and rear wheels. This gives the brakes more clearance. Next, turn the Time Machine's handlebars to the right to expose the DI2 junction box port. Use a 2mm Allen key to remove the retaining screw. Carefully lift the DI2 junction box assembly from the frame. Disconnect the cockpit lead wires from the junction box, leaving the wire leading to the frame connected. Feed the disconnected wires back into the frame. Reinsert the DI2 junction box assembly into the frame. Affix it with the retaining screw. Remove the brake booster cover by depressing the button at the back of the box and lifting. Locate the retaining screw at the bottom of the box. Use a 3mm Allen key to remove it. Locate the upper retaining screw in front of the brake booster cam and remove it with a 4mm Allen key. Disconnect the brake cables from the booster. This is done by grabbing the silver cable ends and unseating them from the front and rear cams. Once disconnected, position the cables above the brake booster assembly. Reposition the brake booster assembly in the box and affix it to the box with the upper and lower retaining screws. Now we're going to dismount the cockpit unit. Use a T30 Torx key to remove the main assembly bolts entirely. The alignment sleeves and non-drive side nuts should be removed as well. Make sure that the DI2 cables are clear of the headset bolt before removing from the cockpit. With these bolts removed, the cockpit should come away from the frame easily. So you've made it to Kona and are ready to assemble your time machine for a spin on the Queen K. To get you rolling, we'll essentially be following the disassembly instructions in reverse. First, mount the cockpit to the frame. The cockpit should slide easily into place. Once aligned, secure it with the two main assembly bolts, alignment sleeves, and non-drive side nuts. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolts to 10 newton meters. Next, route the DI2 cables back through the headset bolt.
Once again, loosen the brake booster assembly by removing the upper and lower retention bolts. Reattach the brake cables by sliding the round, silver cable ends into the cams. Remember, the rear brake attaches to the orange top cam, and the front brake attaches to the black bottom cam. This is assuming that you're using a standard brake setup. Reinstall the brake booster upper and lower retention bolts. With the handlebars turned right, loosen the DI2 junction box retaining bolt and remove the junction box from the frame. Reroute and connect the DI2 cables. Note that you may need to use a tool to help route these cables inside the frame. Once the cables are connected, Reinstall the DI2 junction box, affixing it with the retaining bolt. Finally, reinstall the brake booster cover and mount your wheels. Now you're ready to ride. If you have any questions about this process, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or talk to your local BMC retailer. For more information on the Time Machine 01 and the rest of the Time Machine family, visit www.bmc-switzerland.com. From all of us here at BMC, thanks for your time and attention, and we'll see you next time.